statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Great to be with you where we stand up for our health. Around here, that's literally, we, we're standing. I'm standing, Stephen is standing, and Josh is standing. No one, sitting. One month anniversary. Has it been a month now we've been standing? After yesterday, yes, sir. One month. Yeah. One month we've been uh, standing up. It's all good. I guess, I I don't know. I, I, I don't miss the sitting for the two hours, uh, this is good. And uh, what prompted all this was my reporting on actual studies where they, you know, take a look at the not so good consequences of uh, sitting too much, which contributes to a sedentary existence, which of course, you don't need a PhD in anything to figure that out, that that's not good for you. So we've been standing, I said, okay, Let's uh, let's practice what we preach relative to this telling people not to sit, so stand up yourself, <laughs> meaning me. And then Josh started doing it. Stephen stands on and off in his, in his studio. It's interesting. They even have now jogging desks. That I don't know about. You know, treadmill type of desk. They call them treadmill desks. I see people do that at the gym. I see bad things happen when they're on the treadmill doing other things other than what they're supposed to be doing. 877-897-8255, 877-897-TALK. Stuart Topp will be my guest. He'll be along. <clears throat> He's out there on the, on the West Coast, so powerfully early, and we appreciate him getting up. We'll get to him in a moment. He always has something to share. And it's always uh, worthwhile to listen to him. <clears throat> Insightful guy. <clears throat> so, there's a book. I've referenced it many times on the show. It's Michael Crawford's book called The Driving Force. I highly recommend it. You should read, you know, if you if you like reading about how we came about as a species you will and if you enjoy if you if you like to learn about nutrition diet nutrition and how they're implicated with evolution that's a book to read and he even challenges uh, darwin's theory which is interesting <clears throat> and uh, thinks of course nutrition diet played a primary role in how we evolved. Well, sure enough, I'm, I'm sure Dr. Crawford, if, you know, if he pays attention to the literature, he's now aware of a, maybe a study that, I don't know, I don't have direct contact with him, I'd like to, but there's an article, a study that's trending out of Tel Aviv University and deals with our ancient ancestors, you know, the Neanderthals. <laughs> and it turns out when you, when these uh, scientists 
archaeologists, anthropologists, and whatever ologists show up on these at these sites and they and they gather remains and fossils and whatnot, the evidence, they uh, see that our ancient ancestors were a little different anatomically. In that, Neanderthals had a larger rib cage and a wider pelvis. Okay? One might wonder, why is it that that happened with that species, with our, with our ancient ancestors? And Homo sapiens, the, the, the ancestors of modern humans, those are our direct ancestors, shared the planet with Neanderthals, which is a, a, a close, heavy set relative, as they're described, that dwelled almost exclusively in Ice Age Europe until about 40,000 years ago, as the story goes. Also turns out that Neanderthals are similar to Homo sapiens. And by the way, they occasionally mated. But they're different as well. Among the differences, Neanderthals were shorter and stockier. And their pelvises were wider and their rib cages bigger, wider compared to their modern human homo sapien counterparts. Why? That's the question. Why? And it was something that they ate. If you had to guess, what did they eat that would cause their pelvises and their rib cages to be wider, bigger? You only have three macronutrients. You have them now and you had them then. There are only three, protein, carbohydrate, and fat. If you had to guess which of those three would, would, could be hypothetically attributed to causing the cage, rib cages and the pelvises to get wider. Got a guess? It's protein. Protein. This is a fascinating story. When I was looking at... Um, I tried to get my hands on the full study. The, the best I could get this morning on the fly was an abstract, and I went uh, to the Wiley Library online and picked up the abstract. And it was a high-protein diet that created a, a need to do what? So if you eat a lot of protein, what would happen anatomically to cause the rib cage, what would what would what would be the factor or factors to cause the rib cage and the and the pelvis to get wider? Why would that happen? What's the mechanism here? What was what was triggered? What was triggered was when they started to eat an excessive amount of protein, the liver had to get larger, and so did the urinary system with a wider, lower trunk. Because when you eat a lot of protein, you need the liver to process it. And when you eat a lot of protein, you got to worry about uric acid. And so you need a, a more robust urinary system. So, the, so what, what happened is through natural selection, the body naturally selected to have those features in order to adapt to the conditions. I don't know about you. This is, I find this, these, these are like detective stories. I mean, I find this rather intriguing. And this, the bell-shaped Neanderthal rib cage and thor or thorax, as it's technically called, evolved then to accommodate the larger liver, which is responsible for metabolizing large quantities of protein into energy. When you heightened, then when you increased the metabolism of the protein, that required, as I alluded to a moment ago, a renal system, an enlarged bladder and kidneys then, to do what? Remove 
the excessive amounts of toxic urea. See how that works? Interesting. Hence, fast forward thousands and thousands of years, and here we are the way we are. And we remember, we mated with Neanderthals. Our ancient ancestors mated with Neanderthals. This is a, a wonderful um, study. And when I come back, I'll tell you what was going on. What was going on in that those Ice Age winters? Why? What, what were they eating? What was the source of all that protein? At Country Life Vitamins, we've been helping people live happy, healthy lives since 1971. And we believe integrity should always be our number one ingredient. We are committed to this belief because you deserve high quality nutrition, specifically crafted with the highest standards to support your health. Country Life's manufacturing facility is an NSF GMP registered facility, as well as USDA certified organic, so you can feel good about the products you're taking. Country Life Vitamins is also the first supplement company in the United States to have a complete line of products certified gluten-free. That's over 500 products. Country Life Vitamins Pledge of Integrity is based on five standards, authenticity, cleanliness, freshness, consistency, and accuracy. Ask for Country Life's top-selling products, such as Coenzyme B Advanced for increased energy or Flex Able for joint health. Country Life Vitamins' commitment to ensure all of our products are pure, wholesome, gluten-free supplements full of natural goodness provides peace of mind with the knowledge you are using a brand you can trust. Did you know that the most common form of calcium supplement today is calcium carbonate, also known as limestone? You don't eat rocks as part of your balanced diet, so why would you choose to supplement your bone health nutritional needs with limestone? Our bodies understand and seek whole food sources of nutrition. New Chapter is proud to deliver Bone Strength Take Care, a calcium complex that delivers key bone health nutrients in the form of whole food, not rocks. Bone Strength Take Care also delivers key bone nourishing nutrients, including vitamins D3 and K2. Vitamin K2 is of critical importance as it ensures calcium is placed in the bone where it's needed and stays out of the arteries where it's not. Discover for yourself the whole food bone health alternative to rocks. Bone Strength Take Care, the best-selling natural bone health supplement in America. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Are you tired of taking vitamin pills or powders? How about gummy vitamins with high fructose corn syrup or coloring? Finally, you have a choice with Nature's Dynamic Whole Food Gummy Supplements and Probiotics made by a dad. Imagine getting benefits of your garden in a delicious gummy supplement. Nature's Dynamics utilizes organic, plant-based vitamin and mineral sources with non-GMO, gluten, soy, and dairy-free ingredients in a delicious gummy for the whole family. Nature's Dynamics has berry garden gummies made by a dad multivitamin omega-3 and probiotics for kids, body boost joint relief, whole food bone and calcium gummy, whole food immune and vitamin C gummy, whole food omega-3 gummy, be beautiful hair skin and nails gummy, prenatal plus gummy, whole food probiotics for digestive support, and body boost energy and wellness multivitamin for him and her in a delicious, easy to digest gummy. To learn more about Nature's Dynamics or to find a retailer near you, visit naturesdynamics.com or madebyadad.com. Nature's Dynamics, garden to gummy supplements, made by a dad. Energy, energy, and more energy. Everyone needs it. But did you know you can get the energy you need quick through the powers of wild forest extracts? Wild chaga and birch bark were a secret source of energy and power for Russian athletes years ago, making them unbeatable. Now you too can experience real energy and power like you've never dreamed possible. Wild chaga is the world's top source of SOD, superoxide dismutase, that critical enzyme that blocks the aging process and keeps your cells healthy. Wild birch extract is the world's top source of betulin, a natural sterol needed by every cell of the body and healthy cells mean a healthy you and a more powerful one too chaga birch bark is also good for your heart healthy cholesterol and even helps build healthy arteries no wonder it's known as the king of all herbs so take your chaga charged tea with wild birch bark every day and chaga max capsules from north american herb and spice and get that maximum energy you need also available in liquid as chago power drops these statements have not been evaluated by the food and drug administration these products are not intended to diagnose treat cure or prevent any disease
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Natrol. Own your health. Alga Life. Algae for life. NeoCell, the true science of collagen. CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Form Essentials, makers of the sleep aid Solace. Now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition, wherever and however you may be or watching the show and whatever you may be doing. My guest today will be Stuart Tomp. We'll bring Stuart on here in a little bit. I've been, I'm reporting on a study out of Tel Aviv University. I, I just find this, this intriguing. I've always had a penchant for uh, these kind, this kind of work where we're trying to fit, where scientists are trying to figure out exactly what happened over the millions of years in the process of evolution with various species of animals, including us. And the study t- took a look at uh, Neanderthals and noted, and this has been noticed before and commented on in, in the literature, that they were they were short and stocky in stature and had a large thorax, a large chest ca- rib cage, and a, a wide pelvis. Turns out that those were those were naturally selected, those were uh, adapted because of certain conditions that existed. Uh, and it's important to remember that Neanderthals are were part, lived in Ice Age Europe until about 40,000 years ago. So during the severe winters, um, the, the Neanderthals had to hunt. And what they hunted were large animals. It then turns out that... Uh, <laughs> During glacial winters, carbohydrates weren't available, obviously. So 74 to 85 percent of the Neanderthal's caloric intake would come from animal fat. Now the, here's where the other macronutrient comes into play. Animal fat. The large animals contain about 50 percent fat from calories. And their fat, however, becomes, diminished during severe during the was during the severe glacial winters so the other nutrient that they provided was protein and so what the neanderthals did to accommodate that deficit in fat because they that's all they could hunt were the large animals they we, they adapted to be able to use protein as an energy source to, con, to metabolize the protein into energy. Since the larger animals had less fat, they, had a, they certainly had enough protein, so they used both the fat and the protein, but it took a long time for that adaptation to happen. When they started to consume more protein, they needed a bigger rib cage and they needed a bigger pelvis to accommodate the organs getting bigger, the liver, the kidneys, the bladder, all implicated in the metabolism of protein. Liver as well, you know, you need the liver to help metabolize and you need and digest and you need um, a bigger urinary system, bladder and whatnot because of the the urea that would come from eating all that protein. So, Michael Crawford, in his book, The Driving Force, which I, again, recommend you read, is well worth your time. It's a fascinating read. It's not too difficult. And he thinks that nutrition, diet and nutrition were the driving force in how things unfolded in an evolutionary, in the evolutionary narrative. So there you have it. It is a driving force, and guess what? It's a driving force both for good and for bad. And given what with the way that we eat now, the, the food, the processed food, which I've been commenting on lately quite a bit, it's a driving force, and it's driving us into ill health. My guest is Stuart Tomp. Uh, he's an educator for, uh, uh, well, it used to be Cannabis CV Sciences now, and um, I just... I, had a little bit of communication with him, not much, um, pr- 
prior to this show. It was just a one short email exchange that had nothing to do with the show. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll see what, what he's packed for lunch today. Or is it breakfast? It must be about 6 o'clock in the morning, 6.30 there. Stuart, welcome to the show. I've been listening, Dr. Garko, since the beginning. As Steve can tell you, I call in early, even, even if I have to get up earlier so I can listen to the introduction because I love the beginning of your show. Well, thanks. What do you make of all that? Oh, I think it's so fascinating. I have to share my Professor Crawford story. I, I do know him. I know you know him. The good pleasure to, to, to make his acquaintance and spend some time with him. And I, I will never forget, to this point, uh, we were at one of the big science conferences. I believe it was the International Society for the Study of Fatty Acids and Lipids. So this was a real geeked-out group, and our journal was called PLEFA, Prostaglandins, Leukotrienes. Uh, and essential fatty acids, PLEFA. And it was a great journal. It was a great society. I learned so much from those people. I'll never forget Professor Crawford. He walks onto stage. And for those of you that have never heard of Professor Crawford, please look him up. Professor Crawford um, is, in my opinion, one of the greatest thinkers alive today. He's at the Imperial College where he uh, is the professor of reproductive physiology and he's just quite a remarkable man um, and he he stood on stage and he looks like david attenborough and he sounds like him you remember you know, that guy from all the nature specials oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. right on the savannah we will find that there is less discriminate I and mean, he's just got that powerful presence of this orator just of of confidence and he gets on stage and he says if you go to the Natural History Museums and you look at the armor of people from antiquity, they were all quite petite. <laughs> <laughs> and when we come back from this, it segues beautifully into what you're talking about okay. today. It was protein. It was protein and then fat for the brain. Yeah. I, you know, those three macronutrients, the driving force, Diet and nutrition, the driving force, the driving force. When your alarm goes off, do you jump out of bed with excitement? Or does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than solace an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. For more information or to order Solace, visit TakeSolace.com. Solace, for healthy sleep naturally. Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas, which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering. You're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head-turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Now Foods. Our products work. Nature's Dynamics. Garden to gummy supplements made by dad. American Biotech Labs. Your daily immune system support. Renew Life. The Digestive Care Company. Country Life. A leader and authority in natural health and nutrition. Enzyme Medica. The enzyme experts. Nutrix Hawaii. More nutrition, better health. Purely Hawaiian. North American Urban Spice. The only oregano oil you can take on a daily basis. Let's Talk Nutrition. On the web at Let's Talk Nutrition. Com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition, where it's about uh, keep learning around here. And I'm reporting on a study out of Tel Aviv University, taking a look at our ancient ancestors, uh, the Neanderthals. You know, there's a connection, Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. Sometimes they, they mated and whatnot, but um, Neanderthals were different anatomically. And it was nutrition or diet that caused them to be shorter, stockier, bigger rib cage, bigger pelvis. And as I explained here a moment ago, I won't go over that again. But the point is that diet was a driving force in how they evolved. And it does, it's not a big inferential leap then to assert that diet and nutrition is a driving force as Dr. Michael Crawford says in his book, The Driving Force, for evolution. For all, maybe perhaps all species of animal. And you have nutrition, diet is, nutrition, diet is not the only factor in the environment. There's the weather conditions, the terrain, all of these play on how the particular species of animal will adapt and then select. To, and evolve to select so that they survive and propagate and whatnot. So, you know, uh, Stuart was mentioning my guest, Stuart Tom, knows, met Dr. Car Crawford, knows Dr. Crawford, spoke with Dr. Crawford, and is telling a story about Dr. Crawford. Go ahead, Stuart. So if you're just joining us, this is, in our opinion, collectively, between Dr. Garko and I, one of the smartest people we've ever met. We love to read his work and follow his line of thinking. And he was at a very prestigious scientific conference. He gets on the stage, and he says to everybody in this sort of magnificent and marvelous British accent, <coughs> which you can't make up, he says, if you look in the natural history museums at the armor of people from antiquity, you will find that they were quite petite <laughs> until they began eating more protein. Mm-hmm. And he shows these pictures that sort of support this work that you're talking about this morning. And then he goes on to say, and if you look at the average eighth grader today, he says, they're seven foot tall. We have solved the protein problem for most of the developed world. <laughs> now, I think this is an interesting factoid. He then goes on to suggest if protein was, if you will, the missing link no pun intended, mm -hmm. to actual human size. He says that now what we're faced with as a, as a society, as a planet, is that we've had a protein-based nutrition policy for the last 20, 30 years at least. He said we need a lipid-based, fat-based food policy, meaning we've corrected the protein problem, we now understand more protein, just like you're talking about today. You can get bigger muscles, you can get bigger. But what we need to do is to sort of shift gears and focus more on the fat that we're taking in. But to your point, these three macronutrients, they're all interconnected. I'm sure you also read this morning, study explores, explores carb loading's effect on the heart. Mm. I, didn't, I, I, didn't, that. I didn't read that study because I was caught up in another study out of Italy where they're looking at this remote village in Italy, 300 people that are 100 years old and older. They have not examined these um, and studied this particular group. That's what I was fixated. Between that study and the Neanderthal study, I spent, I, I burned about three hours. <laughs> I know that's what's so beautiful about being on your show. And I'm hoping that that's the one thing that we can always sell to the audience. I loved it before we went to the last break. Always learning. It is, it is over, the day and age of resting on your laurels. Yeah, 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 I know that. I studied that in school. It's, it's every single day, if you turn on 
your computer and you're science-minded, you find out that most of what you thought you understood was oversimplified and or wrong. <laughs> Don't you love that? Uh, well, yeah, I do love it because you, you, have, you have to change, you have to adapt, or otherwise, you know, you get run over in fast traffic. If I mean, unless you've checked out and you're just sitting, you know, on the sidelines and you choose to do that, and I, that's fine, go ahead. Um, so what I had unpacked or want to begin to unpack for you today <coughs> dovetails, as it always does, so beautifully into this introduction, you kind of can't make it up. Um, while these Neanderthals were eating tons of meat and they were able to convert protein right directly into energy, that was an adaptation right? Uh, because the environment changed and the environment dictates the biology. So we're all on the same page. Exactly. And <clears throat> that's what the Neanderthals had to do. I mean, it was because the large animals that they were hunting during the during the severe ice um, ice age winters, I mean, severe, the animals had less fat and they had but they still had their protein. And so to compensate for the less fat, they they had to, the, the, the Neanderthals had biologically had to adapt to eat the protein to use it as energy. Now that took thousands of years. That didn't happen overnight or in a year. It, you know, it, it's a slow adaptation, a, a selection process that takes time. Um, and it's inter I, I, I find this stuff intriguing. I don't oh, I know. Do too, on, on so many deep levels. And one of the connections I made in listening to you this morning was, remember how for many years we would always tell people, meat, you may want to limit meat and eggs and chicken you don't you might not want to eat too much of that we didn't talk about excessive protein and renal burden as often as we did the excessive overload of arachidonic acid mm -hmm. if you're eating tons of flesh and meat all the time you're taking in a lot of arachidonic acid then aren't you dr Gardner? which is pro-inflammatory so we thought in the most oversimplified and general way it's not. When you think of these Neanderthals, uh, do you think they were eating any seed oils like soybean Hell or no. flour? No. There were, the, the carbohydrate um, was whatever carbohydrate they got was rare. So there, so were, no, were, no there were no plants. There were no plants growing <laughs> during the ice age. It's pretty hard, you know, during those winters. There weren't very many petunias popping up anywhere, buddy. <laughs> so well, we've heard, we've heard. Oh, that arachidonic acid could be pro-inflammatory. That arachidonic acid could be pro-inflammatory. Is it not? Is it not? Well, let's. Well, it depends. Let's think of what Dr. Lands taught us. He said arachidonic acid may only be toxic to the degree that it exceeds omega sixes omega threes rather in the tissue hoofa okay what that means in lay speak and what does it mean that it, it depends on how much seed oil you've got in your body as well how so omega so iraq got a, 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 a it's it's relative to other compounds the right. long chain of um, omega-3 fatty acids, arachidonic acid, by is, that you, to say that is not enough. You have to complete the narrative. It's in relation to this other these other compounds. So does hemp have any part in that narrative? Let's see when we come back. Are you suffering from those awful allergies? Hay fever, sneezing, watery eyes. Here's some advice you won't want to miss. I'm a doctor, and my patients used to dread allergy season. But then I discovered A. Vogel Allergy Relief, a unique combination of natural ingredients that usually addresses every one of my patients' symptoms. And while it's clear that the vast majority of my patients benefit significantly from A. Vogel Allergy Relief, what's even more amazing is that after using it, at least half of my patients' symptoms didn't return. As a doctor, that's the kind of outcome my patients and I can appreciate. Get doctor-recommended A. Vogel Allergy Relief for your allergy symptoms. It's proven safe, it doesn't make you drowsy, it's fast-acting, and it may even help prevent your allergies from returning. Available at Vitamin Discount Centers, Richards, Rollin' Oats, Vitamin Shop, Nutrition Smart, and other fine health food stores. 
Feeling tired after your meal? Occasional gas, bloating, or indigestion at inopportune times? You may have an enzyme deficiency. Did you know that many common digestive discomforts can be caused by poor digestion? When food isn't completely digested, it begins to ferment in the digestive tract, which may cause uncomfortable symptoms. Digest Gold, America's number one selling enzyme product, offers unparalleled support for your digestive needs. It contains exclusive blends of enzymes optimized to be three times stronger and work more than six times faster than other leading digestive supplements. With just one capsule per meal, Digest Gold offers support to break down carbohydrates, fats, fiber, and protein. Enzymetica products are all natural, vegetarian, contain absolutely no fillers, and are vegan and kosher when possible. You'll find Digest Gold and other Enzymedica products at fine health food stores near you. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Murray with a minute of important health news. One of my all-time favorite natural products is a special extract of licorice known as DGL. DGL is short for deglycerizinated licorice, but I tell my patients that it stands for darn good licorice. DGL is made by removing the compound in licorice that can raise blood pressure in some people. Double-blind clinical studies have shown DGL is quite useful in healing stomach and intestinal ulcers. In fact, in head-to-head studies, it has actually outperformed popular anti-ulcer drugs. But rather than inhibit the release of stomach acid, DGL stimulates the normal defense mechanisms that prevent ulcer formation and promote healing. Clinical studies have not only shown DGL to be extremely effective, but also that it is completely without side effects. Clearly, DGL is a better choice. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com, as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. From life for less. Are you waking up each day to the life you have to live or to the life you want to live? Better health shouldn't be left to chance. Smart choices to living longer and stronger include making Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract a part of your daily routine. For years, medical researchers have recommended adding Kyolic to the diet as a powerful tool to enhancing overall heart and immune health. Recent clinical studies at UCLA Medical Center using Kyolic suggest that garlic may slow plaque formation in the arteries and support healthy cholesterol and homocysteine levels. Previous research also shows Kyolic may enhance your immune system defenses. Kyolic is organic, odorless, and the only antioxidant garlic supplement available worldwide. Maintaining a healthier you could extend your life. Your wellness begins with Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract, available everywhere fine nutritional supplements are sold. Visit Kyolic.com, that's K-Y-O-L-I-C.com, or call 1-800-421-2998 for a free sample today. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Nubian Heritage, Global Healing, Modern Wellness, BSN, Finish First, Nordic Naturals, Pure and Great Tasting Omega Oils, Jaro Formulas, Superior Nutrition and Formulation, Natural Factors, Where Great Health Begins, Kyolic, Aging Makes the Finest Garlic Truly Odorless, A. Vogel, Europe's Leading Brand of Herbal Medicine. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Yesterday, I spent the entire show talking about aging successfully, and I took a different tact. And the tact was to not discuss it 
within the context of what should you do nutritionally or relative to your lifestyle to age successfully. I focused on the overall context rather and to try to provide, um, to make an argument that aging successfully is not just about being free of disease, that there are other aspects of life and that contribute to aging successfully. And that when you're talking about diet and nutrition, the, one of the problems that we have is that we isolate it and compartmentalize it and take it out of the context of the environment in which it is situated. Okay? To this point then, relative to the story I reported on this morning about Neanderthals having to adapt to eat protein so that they could survive and the adaptation was a unique adaptation because the animals that they were eating had less fat during the winters and they had to try to get to convert the protein and metabolize it to use it as energy. That story is only understood within the overall, the nutrition part of it is only understood within the overall context of the total environment of those, of those ancient peoples. And so is always the case with diet and nutrition. It's always situated in a, in a broader context. And with that point in mind, my guest is Stuart Tomp. With that in mind, Stuart, then, what's the connection? You were headed, to, I know you better. And <laughs> when, you <laughs> met, when you mentioned arachidonic acid, you know, and eating too much meat and it creates too much arachidonic acid, and some believe that it, was, it caused a lot of inflammation, then you made the point only relative if you didn't have enough of meat, long chain of fa omega-3 fatty acids. Um, where are you headed with that? And if you can then take what I just said and build it into your argument. I certainly will. Well, we had heard for years and years, good and bad fat, good fat, bad fat, like it had a moral compass. And we, we, we've talked incessantly about saturated fat and we're not going to go into that right now, but we did have quite a few conversations about arachidonic acid found primarily in meat the long chain omega-6 that is sort of the most active may be toxic to the degree that it exceeds long chain omega-3 in the actual human being. So many people, including myself, at one time would say omega-3, EPA, and DHA good, omega-6, arachidonic acid bad. And what Dr. Garko reminded us, context is everything. Well. Arachidonic acid not only can produce pro-inflammatory hormone-like compounds, which you need if you cut your finger so that you clot blood so you don't bleed to death. You just don't want thick, sticky blood like Elmer's glue all day long. This arachidonic acid, under certain conditions, can create anti-inflammatory hormone-like compounds that we discovered several years ago, and we talked about that, the mm -hmm. paradox of mm -hmm. it could be pro-inflammatory when need be, it could be anti-inflammatory when need be. Okay. But doctor, arachidonic acid is also what your body uses to make endocannabinoids. Okay. I wonder where you were headed. Good. I knew you were going to, I knew you, I knew you were trying to get from, from, um, from the animals to the plants as, as generally, and then hemp specifically. Well, it, this is a huge connection today because your body makes these cannabis-like compounds that do amazing things in the body. Your body's cannabis-like compounds are vasodilators, and they lower brain damage. They, they're anti-nociceptive, which means they're great for pain. They affect synaptic transmission and dopaminergic uh, neurons. Th this stuff is so powerful. It, they are natural anti-inflammatories that our bodies make all day long. So the connection here, which is quite remarkable, is all of that arachidonic acid that these Neanderthals were eating mm -hmm. might have also set the stage for this very expressive endocannabinoid tone that we believe, and Professor Mashulam believes, is what differentiates us and outlines our personality. So this link of protein and then fat, 
and how all of this ties together in our unique individual thumbprint is, is a nice reminder that we are all unique and all different, and a one-size-fits-all answer for nutrition will never work. So, and that's for sure, for sure. So, um, this endocannabinoid system, now you've been on several months and you've been talking about this and uh, trying to explain what the system is, why it's so essential to human uh, homeostasis, in other words, balance, keeping our systems in the, generally in balance and so on and so forth. And that the, the, um, the, the cannabidiol, as it's derived from hemp, uh, serves as what? Nutritional support for the endocannabinoid system? Yes. What CBD does is it disrupts the metabolism of your body's cannabinoids. Because what happens in the human body is you produce these cannabis-like compounds, but they're fast. They're just neurotransmitters. Just think of the icosanoids when we would always talk about locally activated hormones that show up at the scene of the crime and they're like traffic cops. These are these endocannabinoids. Bang, boom, bang, boom. But when you take CBD, like plus CBD oil, the products that I'm always talking about for CV Sciences, the company that I work for, when you take these hemp extracts, you delay the enzymes that degrade your body's cannabinoids. What does that do? It lets your body serve as a master regulatory system. You create anti-inflammatory, anti-spasmodic, anti-anxiety messages through your body endogenously from taking the plant. So the plant disrupts your body's metabolism of these powerful innate regulators of homeostasis. That's amazing. So to be clear, th these, com these cannabinoid-like compounds, are they, are they unto themselves deleterious? Is that what you're saying? No. No, the ones in the body are very beneficial. They just don't last long. And when you take CBD, they have longer neurotransmission and longer connection. Okay. Come back. We'll talk more about this now. We're, we're, we'll get into the source, hemp, which is a very important source. It's a plant source. And then we'll talk more about this endocannabinoid system. Maybe new to some, maybe some not so much. We'll see.
statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. Welcome back or welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. If you tuned in for this uh, second portion of the show, my guest is Stuart Tomp. He is an educator and he's also vice president of human nutrition at uh, CV Sciences. And they are the makers of uh, CBD oil. Uh, great company. And um, they're part of the narrative that's developing surrounding hemp, cannabidiol, endocannabinoid system, which was recently discovered in humans, believe it or not. You would think that we would have figured out human anatomy pretty much, but not so much, it seems. And um, it's all quite intriguing. The question you might ask, what does this have to do with me? And that's what I always press my guests to do when they come on to the show. They tell me they want to talk about X, Y, or Z, and I'll say, why do you want to do that? Well, because, and then I listen, and I say, okay, how is that relevant <clears throat> to the listener and the viewer of the show? If you can't get to that, then you're wasting their time, and they will they will change the dial. That's sort of what I do. If you notice with the guests, that's what I try ultimately try to get them there. With Stuart, I don't have to worry about that. He's so experienced and knowledgeable and so dialed into the same, um, same concept that I'm uh, explaining to you. Because if it, at the end of the day, when this show's over, if it, well, all that's said doesn't mean something to you, has some meaning, some purpose, can't, doesn't make a contribution to either your understanding of health, wellness, or well-being, generally, nutrition specifically, or whatever, and if it has no application, perhaps even sometimes, though it doesn't always have to have a direct application, it just may be interesting knowledge and understanding to appreciate something or, or another. But that has to happen. Otherwise, you know, I'm not going to waste your time. Your time's important. <clears throat> Yesterday, I talked about successful aging. Sure enough, this morning, came across a study out of the University of California, San Diego Health Sciences. Turns out that there's there's small town in southern Italy, Aceroli, Italy, Aceroli. If you're watching the show, we're showing you where it's located. That's the part of the world where my mother came from, in southern Italy, probably not far from where she lived in Aceroli. I've never been to Aceroli, so I don't know. But now I'm going to show you. If you're watching the show at Let's Talk Nutrition, Josh will show you some images. It is absolutely Beautiful. So these researchers have now received permission to study a group of 300 people who live in Aceroli, this small town, remote town in Italy. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. There it is. And why do they want to study these 300 people? Because they're over 100 years old. 100 or more years old. And they got permission to do this and why this group of 300 is living so long. And they're going to conduct, a, they said, a full genetic analysis examining lifestyle behaviors like diet and exercise. So said Dr. Maisel or Maisel. 
Dr. Mazel said the results from studying the longevity of this group could be applied to our practice at UC San Diego and to patients all over the world, close quote. And then he said, this project will not only help to unlock some of the secrets of healthy aging, but will build closer ties with researchers across the globe, which will lead to more science, improve clinical care in our aging population. So said diff a different doctor, Dr. Salvatore de Soma. Okay. Now, I don't mean to throw cold water on this. And I was talking to Josh the other day. I said, you always have to be thinking critically. Think critically, critical thinking. On its face, this sounds like a great study, doesn't it? There's something missing. It's, they're, they're making the same damn mistake that I just alluded to a bit ago. They want to study these people biologically. That's what they want to do. Okay, that's fine. And you think that just studying them biologically is going to give you all the clues that you need to understand why they're living 100 years old or more? If you believe that, well, you're on the wrong track, buddy. It's not just biology here. These people are living 100 years more or old, not just because of the Mediterranean diet that they're eating. Why isn't there any qualitative data being collected? Why don't they bring in some phenomenologists or some, um, some qualitative researchers and sit down with these people and conduct extended interviews with them, conversations, and record the data and do themat thematic analysis of what these people think and feel about living and life and how they do it? That's part of aging successfully, too. And again, they're committing the mistake that I said a moment ago. They're trying to study this business of aging in a compartmentalized way. Will they learn something? I'm sure that they will. They're going to, whatever they learn about their genes, and they're going to learn about their diet, and they're going to learn that they drink wine, and they're going to learn it. Oh, okay, that's fine. But that's a boring narrative. And that's, not, and that's not how it works, man. People age successfully not just because of what the hell they eat. They age successfully because of how they live. And when I see studies like this, 15 years ago, I would have been, you know, I wouldn't have said a word. Now I know better. This is not the way to study them. It's part of the way. And you're missing an opportunity. If that's all they do is connect data, collect data to study their genetics and collect some, and they're, and, they inter and they're using questionnaires. What are you, nuts? You got three, access to 300 people. Why don't you sit down and talk to them? How about that? My guest, <laughs> you can see I get animated with that. It drives me crazy as a researcher. What? What? Oh, I said a little bit. Oh. Yeah, just a little bit animated. But you see, yeah. they're missing the point. They got access to 300 people, Josh. This is a this is a golden opportunity. They're going to give them questionnaires and they're going to take blood tests. That's it. Yeah, this ties Are you, directly in what we were saying yesterday, too. You got to you got to talk to them. Yeah. Listen, listen to how their philosophy of life, listen how they, how they deal with stress, how they deal with conflict. That's part of aging successfully. How, you know, who are these people? They're not just blood samples and genetic codes. Right. You get my point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How if they, I were, if I were on this, if I were on this project, I said, allow me to collect the qualitative data. Let me put a crew together and let us collect some qualitative data. You go ahead and collect the other data, the hard data. My guest is Stuart Tomp. I would love to be part of that project. Stuart, welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. It's my pleasure, and I agree. There's a lot of weak science out there, and making these connections, which is what you help us do, making these connections. They're getting more complicated. Let's face it. They're now, this business, more complicated. With this business of cannabinoids, for example, you can study them microscopically through blood, whatever way you want to do it, but they fit in in a, in a, in a bigger picture 
in what constitutes us as human beings, wouldn't you say? Completely, especially with stress being the number one killer. And if there's anybody I know, one of my colleagues, you especially, would be able to talk about that and appreciate what I just said and be able to. Otherwise, it has no meaning for me. It means nothing to me. If it, if it can't, if it can't be, if it can't be discussed as to how it's going to make that person listening to this show or watching it do better with their health, do better with their life, then we're wasting their time, aren't we? We are, and I have a whole list when we come back <laughs> to tell you how CBD can help improve you. I got it already. I knew you do. That's why I love you. We'll be back. As a family-owned company since 1968, Now Foods has spent the last 46 years building a legacy in the natural health industry as a trusted leader. Now provides a comprehensive approach to wellness by offering more than 1,400 high-quality health foods, supplements, sports nutrition, and personal care products at an affordable price. Now believes that natural is better. They don't use artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, and they offer many vegetarian, organic, and gluten-free products. Their foods are all non-GMO. Since their beginning, Now has grown to become an award-winning leader in the natural health industry. But one thing has never changed, their commitment to providing the highest quality products at the best value to empower people to lead healthier lives. High quality doesn't have to mean high price. From essential oils to amino acids, multivitamins to natural sweeteners, Now has you covered. To find a store near you that carries Now products or for more information, visit nowfoods.com. That's nowfoods.com. Still looking for your fountain of youth? It's Zinnia. Look no further than the beauty aisle of your favorite health and nutrition store. Zinnia is the newest product from Form Essentials, the brand that brought you solace. So you know it's filled with the highest quality ingredients. Many cosmetic products only treat topically, while Zinnia addresses aging and hair loss from within. Formulated to support the growth of radiant hair, skin, and nails, Zinnia is sure to help you turn back the hands of time and assist you in aging gracefully. Zinnia provides a spectrum of key vitamins and other evidence-based natural ingredients, such as alpha-lipoic acid, biotin, and collagen and elastin peptides, all combined in one capsule for your convenience. By promoting beauty from the inside out, you're strengthening your cells and creating a lasting enhancement to your natural beauty. Zinnia fits into your daily routine and can be taken to boost your current cosmetic products. Available now at leading health and nutrition stores. Ask for Zinnia by name. Start taking Zinnia hair, skin, and nails today and get ready to look amazing. Is your skin showing signs of aging? Do you want hair with more body and stronger nails? Add NeoCell's Super Collagen Plus C to your daily routine to help you regain your youthful, vibrant appearance. Collagen is the body's key structural protein, and it is critical to the elasticity and strength of connective tissues like skin, ligaments, and tendons. Recent clinical studies suggest that supplementing with collagen may reduce wrinkles and increase the firmness of your skin, improve the thickness of your hair, and strengthen your nails. Previously, medical studies also show a wide range of benefits from collagen supplements that may help with your joint pain, bone strength, and exercise recovery. NeoCell's Super Collagen Plus C provides 100% pure collagen that's hydrolyzed for maximum absorption. Results are felt and seen within weeks. Super Collagen Plus C promotes a healthy body by providing specialized nutritional support to help fight the effects of aging. NeoCell's Super Collagen Plus C products are available everywhere fine nutritional supplements are sold. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole-body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all-natural, high-quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all-natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all-natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at YerbaPrima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Natrol. Own your health. Alga Life. Algae for life. NeoCell, the true science of collagen. CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Form Essentials, makers of the sleep aid Solace. Now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. As I was thinking about it during the break, what would be interesting would be to study the endocannabinoid system of these 300 villagers who live in Aciroli, Italy, and the population is 645. And they're going to study 300 people who are 100 years old or more. In other words, over half, nearly half the population is 100 years old or more. And it might be unique to look at their endocannabinoid system. I don't know how we would go about doing that. That might be interesting, right, Stuart? I think that would be remarkable because many people are making that connection between disruption and dysregulation of endocannabinoid tone and certain health challenges. And then they're connecting, Doc, how to use phytocannabinoids like CBD, like the plus CBD oil products, to balance the endocannabinoid system. See, this is complicated, but it's going to pay dividends because it would be easy to get on here and say, CBD oil helps with nervous system health. If you have a problem with mood, anxiety, if you don't sleep properly, you might need to try it. If you have a problem losing weight and lack of insulin sensitivity, and you can't seem to lose that gut visceral adipose tissue, take plus CBD oil. If you've got a lot of stress in your life and heart rate variability affects cytokine and hormonal functional outcomes, you may need to try plus CBD oil or supporting your immune system. That's easy to do. And it's also inaccurate mm. because it's oversimplified, number one. Mm. And number two, that's not how we're allowed to talk about dietary supplements. I know you're not. If, if anybody wonders why I'm so technical all the time, that's because that's legally the way you're supposed to talk about dietary supplements. You cannot, you cannot make any health claim relative to a dietary supplement. You can't say that X, Y, or Z supplement going to happen. is going to cure, is going to help with... Uh, Heart disease, Alzheimer's. Can't say that. Can't can't make a health claim, man. It's against the FDA regulations. Um, you know, see, look, and I don't mean to belabor this, but it's a very important point, Stuart. I'm sorry. It, it's so critical. And looking at what some of the researchers said here uh, about studying this small group of people, 300 people in a town, it's only 649 as of 2009. There are 300 who are 100 years old or older. And it's a place called Accioli, Italy. And they, they said that they're going to look at their lifestyle behaviors. And they commented on that um, they take the locals walk long distances and hike through the mountains as part of their daily activity. And then they said that it favors a Mediterranean diet that's marked, uh, infused, markedly infused with the herb rosemary. When I read stuff like that, I'm thinking, so you're going to attribute these people living 100 years old or more to taking long walks and hikes in the mountains and, and rosemary? That's it? Really? Come on now. It's more complicated than that. What about the endo what about their endocannabinoid system? What is it about the way their philosophy of life that keeps them in balance? And what is it that they're doing that might keep their endocannabinoid systems in balance? How about that, Stuart? I think it's a remarkable way to connect some of these dots because what we have found is in certain pathologies, the endocannabinoid system is highly mobilized. What does that mean? When you get sick with a certain type of disease, your endocannabinoid system responds. In many cases, Doc, our bodies upregulate these receptor sites, trying to get more balance, more homeostasis. Hmm. Think of it, more signals, right? More balance. Mm -hmm. You take some, you had an aha moment there. You had an aha moment. I heard it. Mm -hmm. Someone who's really, really out of endocannabinoid balance is going to respond to plus CBD oil quickly. Meaning, if you're a nervous Nelly like me, 
a stress bag, a stream looking for a mouth. You don't sleep through the whole night, and you're not balanced. You're probably going to respond to plus CBD oil more vigorously than someone who is really healthy and balanced and sleeps all night long and resolves inflammation and has regular bowel movements and and gets sick and and gets well quickly. That sort of person has a balanced endocannabinoid system, Mm -hmm. hence why they are well. Wouldn't it be intriguing to be able to study them in that way as well, given that they (laughs) aging successfully is not just about diet and, and diet and walking, <laughs> diet and exercise. I'm sorry, it's not. How, you know, maybe the way they live their life keeps them in balance, keeps them, I don't know. No, you're making an excellent point. If you have a balanced life, there is a, you, statistically, you might have a stronger chance of having a balanced endocannabinoid system, and no one's ever looked at this, but people that are generally well aren't sick. I'm sure you like the simplicity of that, right? And if you can stay well and stay balanced, sleep properly all night long, have regular bowel movements, increase insulin sensitivity, melt gut, gut visceral adipose tissue off of you, balance your uh, heart rate variability, uh, support the immune system properly, plus CBD oil, what it does is it balances the system that does all of those things for you. So I'm finding more and more that under certain conditions that this stuff appears to be a bigger game changer than I had even anticipated. Thought about. I'd love anyone listening who's using plus CBD oil to call us and tell us about your experience. We're hearing it every day, Dr. Garko, across the country, things I've never heard before. How many stores are you in now? Almost 600. Congratulations, man. I remember when you started with one. Um, I pr- when we come back, we'll talk about that. 877-897-8255. Balance. Harmony. Homeostasis. Hmm. Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering, you're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com. When your alarm goes off, do you jump out of bed with excitement or? Does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than Solace, an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation, such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. For more information or to order Solace, visit takesolace.com. Solace, for healthy sleep naturally.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Now Foods. Our products work. Nature's Dynamics. Garden to gummy supplements made by dad. American Biotech Labs. Your daily immune system support. Renew Life. The Digestive Care Company. Country Life. A leader and authority in natural health and nutrition. Enzyme Medica. The enzyme experts. Nutrix Hawaii. More nutrition, better health. Purely Hawaiian. North American Urban Spice. The only oregano oil you can take on a daily basis. Let's Talk Nutrition. On the web at Let's Talk Nutrition. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition, wherever and however you may be listening or watching and whatever you may be doing. Good to be with you. It's a lot of fun to do this show. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And to share with you um, some of the best guests in the business, uh, these people that we bring on to the show, believe me, that (laughs) we're not going to let anybody walk in here and sabotage this show so they gotta they gotta have their game together and my guest Stuart Tomp has had his game together for a long long time I want to go to a place that I never heard of and I know I learned it's in Pennsylvania skip pack skip pack Pennsylvania Colleen welcome to the show hi yes good morning what an interesting name about 20 minutes of near uh, North Wales, where Holly Hill Health is located. Okay. Hey! Skip, you know you know Holly Hill, right, uh, Stuart? Of course. Jim Wilk and I, we've been friends for a long time. I've been on his radio show. I know Ray. I know everybody over there. They're wonderful store. people. It's amazing, a great store. Amazing I've been place. going in a little while. <laughs> They're wonderful. Skip Pack. What an interesting name for a town. That's great. Well, Skip- the Indians used to live here. Oh, is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're taking CBD oil? Yes, I am. I began actually back in July, and I began taking the spray, you know, cause as was suggested. Mm-hmm. And then I wanted to get more bang for my buck, so I went and I spoke to, um, you know, the people at the store, and uh-huh. they recommended the Total Plant Complex, so I'm taking that. Which one, the gold? Right. You taking um, the No, green. the green. The green. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What do right. you, uh, it's like, it's sort of the resin, right? You... Exactly, yes, yes. And how much do you take a day, do you know? Um, oh my goodness, it's so hard to measure. Measure what you put um, on a little stick or something. Yeah, I take a little little stick, and I take maybe I try to make the one gram last for mm, like five or six days. You okay, know? all right. But I just wanted to share with you that all I needed to lose. I know it's not a weight loss supplement. I only needed to lose like seven to ten pounds, and this is the. And I heard Stuart talking. Oh gosh, last year how it burns visceral fat and it's mm-hmm. good for sleep and, and mm-hmm. all that. And I said, well, bang, I'm going to try that. <laughs> and um, because I'm 59 years old, I'm, I weigh like 120 pounds. So I did. I know I've lost some weight. But on a little person, you know, 10 extra pounds is, is a lot of weight. You know, I, I feel, don't feel comfortable. My clothes don't fit comfortably. Well, that was all I was taking was the spray. And like Stuart had said before, the weight was just melting off. I only have one pair of jeans that don't fall off of me. Wow. I was trying on some dresses because we're going to Florida for a month to uh, visit our family. Yes. And I have these dresses and clothes and shorts and things I can wear that I'm not bulging out of. Right. And, you know, I just feel so much better. I feel more comfortable. And um, I have tons more energy. Mm. And Sleep sleep better? Sleep has improved. What what's improved? My sleep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. What else has improved? You said something else has improved. Um, I, I I just feel good. I have. I just feel good. I can't explain. Better it. sense of well being. Correct. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How, how old did you say you were? Excuse me. How old did you say you were? I'm fifty nine. Fifty nine. You sound like you're twenty nine. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sound very. And I am a runner. I'm going to go for a run on the way out. Yes, See, so you I'm... sound you sound youthful. You sound healthy. You sound youthful. Oh, so the you. only thing you changed in your life was to start taking the CBD. No that other. That ver- was the only thing because I practice intermittent fasting. I drink tons of water. I try to eat right for my blood type. You know, very. You know, no processed Beautiful. food whatsoever. I'm thinking, why can't I get rid of this extra couple of pounds? You know, I do weight training and all that, and and this is the only thing different I've done. And when I was tall, telling the um, woman at the store, Robin, um, I said, and she said, she said there were so many experiences of people, of um, clients coming in saying the same exact thing. So I'm so delighted that you called because you see, you Stuart and I could talk until we ran out of oxygen, <laughs> uh, but you calling to share that narrative 
is more persuasive, more influential, more meaningful, quite frankly, to the no 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 offense to my guest. Right. To, to, to the, <laughs> I love his energy. I love when Stuart's on. In fact, uh, I, I know. The only problem with Stuart, he's, he's not he's not amplified enough. <laughs> I could tell that. He needs to bump it up a little. Right. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. This is a great – that's a great story. I've never spoken with you before. Uh, I don't, No, I haven't called before. I think I, and I tried to call last time Stuart was on, so I emailed you about my experience because I wasn't able to call. But I have several friends. I have one friend who um, she's very dear, but she's almost she's very overweight. Mm -hmm. And I was telling her about it, and she, you know, said, "When do I feel it? When do I feel?" It? I said, "Just give it a couple of months, I guess. Everybody's different." Yeah, you and know? sometimes it's the dosage. Uh, okay. She may she may need to adjust the dosage yeah. a little bit. Maybe she needs a little bit more. It, it just depends. But right. that's a great story. I mean. Uh, and I keep trying to encourage the listener and the viewer of the show to call and to share that kind of story because it's compelling. Mm -hmm. It's not a clinical trial. I understand that, but it's, it's not your <laughs> it's your it's your experience, and that me means something. Stuart, you wanted to comment? Yeah, I think it's 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 a perfect illustration of what we've been talking about because this woman takes extraordinary care of herself. You just heard her regimen. She takes care of herself. The only addition. It wasn't, hey, it's the product. Get over that. CBD helped balance her endocannabinoid tone, increasing insulin sensitivity, mm. potentiating fat melting off the belly where you want it. Sleeping all night long increases your ability to convert uh, a beige and brown adipose tissue, right, to turn more energy, thermogenesis. All of this is the result of her balancing her endocannabinoid system, mm -hmm. and listen to how happy she is. Let me ask you something, uh, uh, Colleen, just out of curiosity. Okay. Have you, with your friends or your partner who, or whomever, people... My husband are, of 38 years, he okay, also okay. has taken the spray as he well. Knows you, he knows you pretty well. Mm -hmm. he, has he said to you, Colleen, you know, I'm really digging the way you're acting these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I think because he, uh, I've been telling him, I said, hi, and, you know, um, I'm even I'm going to a smaller bra size, my butt, everything, my legs and and everything. And he wants to lose, you know, because he's 62 God and I think he wants to feel as well, as good as I well, do. Get him on I'm it. much more strict, strict than he is because he is a guy. No offense, guys. <laughs> but, right. She's you know, right. he, so he's taking it because he sees how good I feel, and mm -hmm. I look great for my age. People think my 34-year-old daughter is my sister. Well, that's and wonderful. That. Well, that's a great way. To, see, <clears throat> that's aging successfully. Successfully. That's yeah. aging successfully. It's I'm everything. Trying. It's, your, you know, it's a, it's a total connection to, to your life. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. You feel, do you feel your temp, do you, about your temperament? I mean, do you feel more, how do you feel? Since you've been taking it, hmm. yeah, I can I tell you. I'll, I'll, t I'll give you a hint. For me, I, I Stuart asked me that question. I said smooth. That mm -hmm. was. I gave him one word answer. I said yeah. smooth. I feel like I'm gliding smooth. I guess that's a good way to look at it. I, I, I can't pinpoint a word per se. I hear the music, and then you guys have to go. But I just feel good. I feel it's like good I'm enough, darling, uh, Colleen. That's good enough. I just feel good. People would pay a gazillion dollars just to feel good. At CannaVest, we believe that the future of hemp is unlimited, and through innovative and responsible application and science, we will enhance the prosperity and well-being of our customers, employees, and communities. As pioneers, our long-term goal at CannaVest is to locate hemp seed processing mills near to our future family of hemp farmers. These local factories will convert hemp seed into nutritious oil, protein powders, bread flour, and hemp meal. CannaVest supports local efforts and believes that sustainability starts locally. Cannavest was named one of the Nutritional Outlook's Best of 2014, and we are committed to pioneering the hemp revolution as the world's leading producer of quality hemp-derived CBD products. Resistance to change is in great part the result of trying to do today's job with yesterday's tools and with yesterday's concepts. The hemp revolution is here, and it's up to all of us to change perception and to impact policy. Will you join us in this movement? Learn more about the education and science behind Cannavest at Cannavest.com. Exclusively from Natural Factors. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Murray. I'm very excited to have the opportunity to talk with you about PGX. 
a truly revolutionary natural product that works perfectly to help get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult. PGX is a clinically proven way to help people to achieve their ideal body weight that is safe and natural. PGX leads to a dramatic reduction in the glycemic index of any food or meal. It also ultimately causes the release of compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, it's not your fault. You just need the tremendous support that PGX can provide. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, please go to pgx.com. At Country Life Vitamins, we've been helping people live happy, healthy lives since 1971. And we believe integrity should always be our number one ingredient. We are committed to this belief because you deserve high quality nutrition, specifically crafted with the highest standards to support your health. Country Life's manufacturing facility is an NSF GMP registered facility, as well as USDA certified organic, so you can feel good about the products you're taking. Country Life Vitamins is also the first supplement company in the United States to have a complete line of products certified gluten-free. That's over 500 products. Country Life Vitamins Pledge of Integrity is based on five standards, authenticity, cleanliness, freshness, consistency, and accuracy. Ask for Country Life's top-selling products, such as Coenzyme B Advanced for increased energy or Flex Able for joint health. Country Life Vitamins commitment to ensure all of our products are pure, wholesome, gluten-free supplements full of natural goodness provides peace of mind with the knowledge you are using a brand you can trust. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com, as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. For life for less. Did you know that when it comes to supporting whole body health, there's an herbal supplement that may be as important as your daily multivitamin? Discover Xiflamend Whole Body from New Chapter. Formulated to support a whole body healthy inflammation response, an ongoing natural process and part of the body doing its job. We often think of the inflammation response as something we can feel, such as where there are sensitive nerve endings. But did you know that we can also have an inflammation response we can't feel? And whether we are aware of it or not, our inflammation response can affect the whole body. Xiflamen is a patented blend of 10 remarkable herbs, including pure and potent turmeric, that help balance and support your body's natural, healthy inflammation response for overall health and wellness. And it's clinically tested. Discover the premier herbal supplement for whole body health from New Chapter. Xiflamend Whole Body. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Available at your local fine health food store. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Nubian Heritage, Global Healing, Modern Wellness, BSN, Finish First, Nordic Naturals, Pure and Great Tasting Omega Oils, Jaro Formulas, Superior Nutrition and Formulation, Natural Factors, Where Great Health Begins, Kyolic, Aging Makes the Finest Garlic Truly Odorless, A. Vogel, Europe's Leading Brand of Herbal Medicine. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Here's the LTN health question of the day. Do this every day around this time. Uh, earlier in the show, uh, I was talking about this new study out of uh, Tel Aviv University. Fascinating piece of work. And they were taking a look at our, uh, among our ancient ancestors, the Neanderthals. And they've 
in the study, they talk about how Neanderthals ended up with a bigger thorax, rib cage, and wider pelvis. And they that happened because they needed to accommodate the growth of their vis the, these internal organs, their liver, their kidneys, and their bladder, because, and that that that's a hint to the question, by the way, because they were eating more of a certain macronutrient. And I explained why that happened. What was that macronutrient that they were eating a lot of that caused these anatomical changes? Was it fat, protein, or carbohydrate? What was the macronutrient that they consumed in great quantities because of what was available as, and caused them to uh, change, uh, to evolve over time to have a bigger rib cage and wider pelvis? Was it fat, protein, or carbohydrate? 877-897-897. 8255 877-897-8255 toll free right answer $25 gift card let's go to Norristown Pennsylvania Denise uh you had a question about dosage on the CBD oil yes I have it and I don't think I use it the way I should and don't know um how um quickly I should look for results talk to Stuart about that go ahead okay, what hey, we're Stuart. finding is um, that People, if they follow the directions and they don't see any result, you can increase, just go up one milligram a day, every day, until you get up to about 15 milligrams of CBD per day. Now, I'm oversimplifying it because we're on the radio and we don't have more time, but most people that are not feeling it at a couple of milligrams may need to get closer to 10 to 15 milligrams to really move the needle. So in your case, you may actually just need to try a bit more I want to say, to be fair, if you get to about 15 or 20 milligrams and you're really noticing nothing, you may not be responding to phytocannabinoids, meaning that CBD may not be the missing ticket for you. I hope that helps you a bit more. That, uh, what prompted you to take it? Um, the anxiety and stress factor. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. I, and I, I wondered, I have this spray. I think they're all sprays. I'm not quite sure. But it's in a peppermint oil base. Right. Is that peppermint oil a calming effect? Is that why that's in there or just used as a carrier? Well, it's a, the peppermint oil is because CBD, the taste of it, is, is pretty intense. I mean, when you hemp extracts just taste ultra green, so it's just mm -hmm. a way to make it more palatable for more people. We do have an unflavored, which is my favorite, which doesn't have the peppermint oil, but you really taste the plant. So it depends on your palate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. You're using the spray? I am. Okay. Maybe, what about, Stuart, going to the gold and using the, and using the resin? That would be also appropriate, but in her case, if we have the spray, you know, my parsimonious approach to life, I'm budgeting for everything these days, right? Mm -hmm. I'd start just adding a few more milligrams, go from one to two to three to four to five. You get up to about 10 milligrams a day, and that's what we're learning is about the sweet spot for most people. Okay. Do you, how much are you taking right now? Probably just two squirts, and I think... Yeah, she's getting one milligram. You're getting, you have the regular size bottle? Uh, I do. Yeah, so she's only getting one milligram, Doc. You, you, you just need probably to take a bit more. I'd say closer okay. to, the, to the five to ten milligram range, people start sensing it. There are some that respond to one milligram, but most people... Do so would she do more milligram. sprays? At, would, she, would she do three or four sprays? I mean, does she do this twice a day? How, yeah, no, how would she get the tech? I think splitting it up morning and then afternoon, morning and okay. afternoon. So take your two sprays in the morning, and then you can add two sprays in the afternoon. Then the next day you can do a couple sprays in the morning, a couple sprays in the afternoon. You start slowly building it up. And see if you get an effect with that. If you don't get, then go to three sprays in the morning and three sprays in the afternoon. And okay. that's what we're finding, and that's going to make this, it's going to require many radio shows like this and a lot of conversation because it's not take two and call me in the morning. It's not that easy. Let's go to Lark. Does that help, Denise? Yes, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you, thank Denise. You. Thank, thank you so much for listening. Let's go to Largo, Florida. Hi, Trish. Hi, Dr. Garko. Nice to talk to you. Uh, let's see if you can win a little prize today. So, are, so. are these Neanderthals, 
they were ad adapting and adjusting to the environment. And uh, in terms of food, they had to eat a certain macronutrient, a lot more of it, so that they could survive and they, it was available from the particular food source. What was, what was the macronutrient, though, that they were eating a lot of? Was it fat? I believe I heard you say protein. It was protein because they were eating large animals. See, it turned out that during they, they were living in uh, extreme weather. And when it got extremely cold, the animals that they were, the game that they were hunting, although they, 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 were, they wanted to eat the game for the fat, but during the cold weather, the large animals that they were hunting produced less fat. They still had protein. So what happened over thousands of years, the, the biology of the Neanderthals selected to be able to use the protein from the animals for an energy source. And so they started to eat large quantities of protein for energy, and they could metabolize it. When they did that, the organs got bigger. The liver got bigger. Their kidney, the bladder, and the kidneys got bigger because more protein required those organs to get bigger to metabolize them and then to get rid of the urea from the kidney system. And then their chest got bigger, and their and their and their pelvis got bigger. Fascinating. But it was the protein that triggered all of that. Congratulations, you won a $25 gift card. Thank you. Thank you, and thanks for listening, Trish. We appreciate it very much. Okay. Thank you. Stuart, we appreciate you very much. Don't hang up the phone. I need to talk to you off air. Um, Thank you, sir. Yes. <laughs> Great today. Thank you. And by the way, I forgot to ask how you're doing. I never had a bad day in my life. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> CBD oil. Get from CV Sciences, sometimes known as Canavest, and it's sold in fine health stores throughout the United States. If you want to get in, go to go to their website. What's the website, J Stuart? CVSciences.com. Remember, it's plus CBD oil, plus CBD oil, CVSciences.com. Your health is your wealth.